Yo, what's up? It's Yo Rumi. So I want to do a brief kind of tutorial style video where I take you through how I rebuilt the Everything Marketplaces community uh, platform. Uh, it's more than a than a simple site now, um, which is more of a platform that has user accounts, uh, member only content, a little bit more kind of user functionality. And I, I did so uh, using Webflow, uh, Jetboost and uh, member stack. So I wanted to just do a brief kind of tutorial since uh, I did one previously. The previous um, Everything Marketplaces site was a simple kind of site that was built using card, uh, air table, some other kind of tool integrations, uh, completely no code. So I wanted to do a, uh, a new kind of updated video tutorial where I walk you through the current build. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So you can see it uh, live right now. So at everythingmarketplaces.com, this is the live site right now. Um, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through uh, from a user kind of side right now, and then we'll just jump into actually Webflow on the dashboard. So that way you can see how I actually uh, kind of rebuilt the site from card into Webflow. So you can see right here, um, I'm actually logged in. It will log out so we can simulate going through. Uh, so here's the homepage right here. Um, we have a little bit more about what members get access to. Um, basically though, this is a, a community and uh, now a, a platform for marketplace founders and leaders. Um, so you can see right here, we have some kind of resources, uh, some embeds for tweets. Um, but basically, if someone wants to join, they can click on request access and join. There's two kind of membership options right here. It is a paid community. So if they click on one, let's say, for instance, the $2.99 a year for join now, this will take them to uh, create an account if they haven't already. Then right after this step, um, they would have that uh, payment um, capture where they would enter their payment information and then on confirmation go to a welcome dashboard. So I of course already have an account so we're just going to go back over here. We can click on login so on this right here uh, this is actually we do use a uh, member stack so this is just a modal using member stack. We'll click on login right there. So I'm logged in as a user. So we're just going to do a kind of walkthrough now as a user uh, what all uh, the platform offers for users and uh, that way it should be pretty uh, good kind of uh, context before we jump into the Webflow build. So right here, here's the homepage, of course, you can see all the resources. A lot of these resources right here um, that I have, these are not, uh, uh, well, some of them are members only and some of them are not. Um, we'll just kind of click on this right here. So here's like a toolkit. So you can search uh, uh, common tools uh, and uh, also other platforms that marketplaces are built, built with. Um, I'll jump into Webflow so you can see how this is kind of structured. Um, this search right here is pretty cool. It's a type ahead search, shows real time results uh, on the search. And that is using Jet, Jetboost as a functionality for that. Also too, we have a favorites functionality um, and that is uh, using Jetboost too. Uh, so we'll click on one for instance, Stripe Connect. So when you click on this, you can see this is the individual kind of toolkit page that we have for it. So it's pretty cool right here. It's uh, super helpful for marketplace founders and those looking to um, see some of the common tools that marketplaces are built with. Um, then we can go back over here and this is to the toolkit and then we go to all the to the resources. So I want to show you that though, it's, um, since this is a page build in Webflow, we'll get to that in a little bit. Now we have some other kind of resources, um, such as a marketplace directory and examples. Um, these are uh, uh, pages right here, um, but you can see these are simple Airtable embeds. So eventually we'll probably build out um, some uh, some of the actual kind of um, the search and then some of the favorite functionality uh, for this right here. And instead of an Airtable embed, make it more like the toolkit. Um, but for now, since we just kind of got this set up on uh, Webflow, um, we're going to build out um, some of the each each of the resources from these Airtable uh, embeds right here into a little bit more kind of custom look and feel. Um, platform kind of resource uh, like, the, like the toolkit was. Um, then we'll jump over here in Vessor directory just so you can see some, uh, see all the different resources right here. That's another Airtable embed. Um, we'll go over here though and we'll click on workshops and this is pretty cool. So this is a page that we built out um, that has CMS entries and uh, you'll see it's a simple, the URL over up at the top is uh, Knowledge Hub and then we have selected on workshops. So basically one of the, uh, you can think of it like the main kind of states or funct uh, functionality or kind of um, like uh, resources for marketplace founders and leaders and anyone looking to learn about marketplaces is this knowledge hub up here. And these are all different uh, 
You can see learn, launch, build liquidity, scale growth uh, and marketing, network effects, raising capital. All these are common topics or things that uh, people are looking to learn about with uh, online marketplaces. So you can see over here, the, those are actually categories and topics. So on the on the click on that, these are all uh, just take you to these uh, pre-selected filter URLs um, for the Knowledge Hub. So uh, to kind of uh, reiterate, so we have the main homepage right here. We have our kind of request access and join page. Um, these are just kind of like static kind of modules right here that show the different kind of resources. Um, then we have our kind of main resources over here, which link to other kind of individual pages. And then where we get into uh, the um, probably my favorite part of the build is this knowledge hub, which is which is then another page, but it has a lot of different filters um, for different categories and different content types that can then be multiple quote unquote resources that we then link to over here. So for instance, the group chats that we do. So we do group chats with marketplace founders and leaders every Tuesday for the uh, community, for the actual members. Um, they can participate in those. So you'll see those over here selected as group chats as the content type. And we, uh, we've we actually done 124 of those, or sorry, not 124, but we have 124 recordings from them um, and kind of highlight clips. So you'll see them all added right here. Um, uh, if you've seen uh, YC Startup Library, I took kind of inspiration for that. And that's kind of uh, how I came up with the overall kind of um, look and feel for it. But I'm going to click on this. Um, you'll see it opens into an individual kind of um, a new page. or sorry, a new window. And it has a page for the embed right here and then some uh, details on it. And then, of course, all the uh, group chats from the community. So uh, all the uh, members can connect with them and chat there. Um, but yeah, so this is the, uh, as I mentioned, it's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely one of my favorite parts of the actual kind of platform. Um, but uh, that should give you a pretty good idea of the three different kind of like main pages or states for, for the actual platform, which is the home page, the join page, um, and then all the different resources, and then this knowledge hub. Um, the community opens to a, uh, in a new window to our circle community. Um, we actually migrated from Slack. So I'm not going to cover that too much in this video. Uh, actually, I probably won't cover it at all. Uh, I'll break this into two parts. The first is going to be how we rebuilt the platform and Webflow, and then probably the second more on the Slack group and then how we migrated the Slack group over to Circle, um, some kind of insights and uh, tips on how to do that, and uh, kind of behind the scenes on some integrations on that as far as uh, Zapier automations that we use. Um, last but not least over here, so we saw the uh, login and then uh, in the modal. Um, if you log out, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, it just logs you out and takes you back to the home page. Um, we're going to log in there really quickly. And I'm going to walk you through on the uh, user account just briefly. So we have a main uh, uh, state or uh, this is kind of like the, the welcome or the dashboard for members. So you can see it right here. Um, we have all the, you know, one through six, all the different kind of uh, benefits and, um, you know, the things that they need to know uh, once they join uh, the Everything Marketplaces community. And then that way they can have access to everything. So this, this is the welcome. So this would be on the um, confirmation of the payment, uh, but also too, uh, when, when they log in, um, we're going to uh, route them here so that way they can have access to everything. So you'll see that over here. Here's like the footer that we have. So we have all the different links down here to make it easy um, for everyone to access all the different resources, all the different topics um, for the Knowledge Hub. And then over here, we have the, uh, for the members, we have the community, which this opens in a new window. Um, as I mentioned, that's the Circle community. We have the Slack group, um, the member dashboard, which I'm on right now. And then um, we actually have three hidden pages for uh, th these pages, and when I mentioned hidden, you have to be logged in to see them um, and have access to the to the content on those. So that's using member stack. So we use just member stack to hide um, some pages, and uh, that's fairly straightforward to do in Webflow. And I'll we'll uh, we'll go over that in Webflow in a second. Um, but the member directory, so all the members, we have uh, almost 600 members now, so you can kind of see them all right here. It's an Airtable embed. And uh, I can do a, a video if you want later on on how we actually uh, take all the, um, you know, the member information and uh, actually uh, automatically send it to an Airtable for it. That's pretty cool. But that's the member directory. And so if you're not logged in, um, we'll log out right here so you can see what, uh, what you would actually see. It's pretty cool. Um, we kind of have this uh, kind of um, overlay right here and have like a little kind of gradient right there. So it prompts people to uh, sign up if they're not already and then log in if they're a member. Um, we have a member calendar and then a member's deals page. So basically the calendar is like an embed and then the member's deals is all the member deals that they have access to. So it's like over 50,000 in um, either discounts or credits for some of the common tools and services that online marketplaces use. Um, and that's an Airtable embed. 
So now that I've taken you through the main kind of platform, we're going to jump into Webflow and I'm just going to try to show you um, a little bit more on how I actually kind of rebuilt it. I do also want to mention this is my first um, actual build with Webflow beyond uh, just a simple kind of demo. Um, so I did actually uh, hire someone to help me, uh, someone that's uh, very good at Webflow to uh, kind of help me uh, actually transfer over some of the main kind of pages, um, create them in Webflow. So uh, they created these kind of static pages. So you can see the home right here, the Marketplace Toolkit. And then I went in and did a lot of the actual kind of um, you know, loaded up the content within the pages and uh, made some of the kind of styling, uh, you know, some of the style kind of edits to it. Um, so uh, if you, you know, if, if you don't have any experience using Webflow um, and you are in a position where you might be able to do that, I would definitely suggest it. It uh, definitely accelerates the learning curve. So we're going to go over here. So you can see on the home page, well, we'll go over here. So I'm just going to try to walk you through the, you know, how this is all kind of configured um, in Webflow. So we're on the home page right now. So you can see on the top nav right here, we do have like a drop down. Um, as you can see, we'll just go over here so you can see all the drop downs. So these are the drop downs. Um, and then you'll see these kind of the buttons, the call to action, and then the logout. Um, and that's using um, these have the uh, member stack added, the uh, IDs or the uh, information right there. Um, here's our kind of main section, the call to action buttons. Um, this is fairly straightforward. Um, and we'll kind of go down. Here's some kind of uh, modules that we have for the resources that uh, then link to the individual resources. I'm um, kind of similar to how the uh, main resources page has. We have these embeds for the uh, tweets right here. So these are some tweets that are kind of like testimonials um, that are great kind of social proof for the community. And then we'll go over here and we'll go through the other pages really quickly. So that's the home page. Now the tool page uh, or the toolkit, um, you can see right here. So this is a simple kind of text. We have this kind of um, this uh, kind of like sub nav right here. Um, here is the kind of search right here, which we have uh, configured with JetBoost. And then we have uh, each kind of resource module right here. Now we actually don't use uh, like a like a Zapier and Airtable integration for this content. Um, we're eventually going to and move to that. Ideally, that would be something that would be um, definitely beneficial for us to do and just uh, almost utilize like Airtable as kind of like a database for this. Now, what we actually do, though, is we use CMS entries for each of these. So if I want to add a new tool uh, myself or someone adds it to Airtable, um, I can uh, get that information uh, for each of the fields on that, um, you know, that are required for each entry. And what I would actually do is... Um, I would go down here and the tool, uh, the tools right here are their own individual CMS entries. So you can see all of them that I created right here and then all the information for each. So that's probably not ideal. It's not, uh, you know, as um, automated as it could be. Um, but as I did mention, you know, we just kind of migrated and rebuilt in Webflow. So this is kind of like the initial kind of version of the community platform. And uh, so I wanted to make sure that we could just go ahead and get migrated over. And then as we want to add more, um, you know, probably better kind of um, configurations and, uh, you know, some different features and functionality, we can do so uh, after we get this kind of relaunched. So we'll go back over here to the pages. That's the toolkit. Um, the join everything marketplaces is fairly straightforward right here. This is another kind of page. So I just want to walk you through, um, you know, how it's kind of set up as far as like the static pages and then what is an individual kind of um, actual CMS entry. So the Knowledge Hub too. So that is a, another, uh, actually that's not, let's go back. Yeah, so the Knowledge Hub, let's see. This is probably it right here. I think we had another kind of test page that we were using for uh, JetBoost. Oh, that's not it either. So the Knowledge Hub, that should actually be it. So we'll let it load up. Yep, so that's it. So uh, once again, so this is kind of similar to like the toolkit as far as it, um, you know, is a way to kind of curate content. And, uh, you know, we do use each, you know, it's, it's definitely not ideal since we have like over 194 entries now, I believe, for content in our Knowledge Hub. But they are actually all manually um, created by me as a CMS entry. So you can see them all right here. Uh, this is like the JetBoost kind of um, search. We have our favorites and the kind of filtering on that real time that is JetBoost. And you'll see some of the entries over here. Now I'm going to show you on the CMS, the Knowledge Hub uh, resources right here. So yeah, there's 191 of them. So these are all individual um, entries that I create. 
So for instance, uh, after we have a group chat, um, you know, and we share the uh, upload on or upload it to YouTube, I actually go in and create an individual CMS entry. So that way it creates an individual page and has the video embed in it. And then I also do highlights. Um, so each highlight clip um, has its own page also. So that way it is a valuable piece of content that can be um, included in the Knowledge Hub that is probably specific to uh, an individual topic. So you can see the most recent one, a uh, highlight clip that I created right here and all the information um, for it. And that will then be live on the Knowledge Hub. So we'll go over here and we'll just kind of show you. You can see it right here. So that uh, was the CMS entry. And then you can see the actual uh, live um, page for it right here. And it's on its own page. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea um, of how we kind of set up, um, you know, the initial kind of pages and then uh, also structured the toolkit and the knowledge hub. And then also to how the uh, each individual individual entry is actually a CMS entry. Um, you can see we have uh, authors too for each of the um, the author is actually going to be the group chat guest or the author um, for whatever piece of content. So eventually we actually want to have some of the thought leaders, um, you know, have their own kind of pages that we build out on the platform and then be able to embed all the content um, or resources that are, uh, you know, relevant um, to them you know, as an individual kind of page. Um, but for now, we do have that as an author. We also have like our categories over here. Um, we're storing members uh, information right there. Um, we actually have a lot more members uh, from that. So I need to kind of update and pull that in. Um, we have all of our categories and, and whatnot right here. So this is uh, everything that is uh, a CMS collection. Um, and I do want to mention, of course, since we, we're going to have probably, you know, four or 500 entries to the Knowledge Hub, we're probably going to um, figure out a better way to do this. I'm not really sure right now, um, but we might uh, do it kind of similar to the toolkit where everything is actually in Airtable. And then we use Zapier to kind of populate the content, um, you know, from Airtable uh, and create a page, uh, its individual kind of page um, in Webflow. Um, but for now, that's actually, you know, this is how we set up and, uh, you know, it seems to be working well. So go back over here to the page really quick. So the other indiv individual page is the member, um, the welcome page. And you can see right here, we actually have this overlay. Um, and, uh, you know, this overlay is uh, if someone's not logged in. So if I wanted to edit what, you know, what's behind it here directly, um, I would just simply hide that. Um, but that is another page that I want to show you. We'll go over here. Um, we have a kind of design system. And uh, right here, let's see, we have our sign up. Uh, page. So it's fairly uh, fairly straightforward. It's actually a pretty lightweight build using um, Webflow, uh, but I definitely wanted to walk you through how we rebuilt the original Everything Marketplaces site. Um, the original site, um, I did another kind of tutorial or demo video uh, to YouTube and posted that to YouTube uh, quite some time ago. It was actually built using Card um, and uh, Airtable embeds and did not have uh, user accounts or any, uh, you know, the ability to kind of hide pages. Um, or there are any kind of advanced functionality. So what I was actually doing is just creating unique URLs for pages and kind of, um, it's kind of janky, but I would just kind of link from, you know, different, the kind of user journey. And then um, that way, uh, you know, I could then kind of uh, try to control what people would see, um, whether they were, uh, you know, a paid member or not. Um, had a lot of people that were able to quickly get around that though. And since, uh, you know, we have uh, a lot uh, more traction with the community, um, you know, there's like over 600 accounts now. Um, you know, the community is very active as far as our uh, Circle and Slack community. Uh, definitely wanted to move beyond a simple kind of static site and into a more of an actual platform where there's user accounts, you know, there's user only content resources, kind of functionality of favoriting, you know, content in the knowledge hub, uh, that way they could have their own kind of collection of favorites um, and uh, make it a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more advanced from like a platform kind of standpoint. So uh, once again, um, you can check out the uh, live site right now. It's everythingmarketplaces.com. Um, and it is a community kind of platform for marketplace founders and leaders. And uh, hopefully this uh, video is helpful. If it is, definitely uh, hit that, uh, you know, hit that like button. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Um, I try to answer all the questions in the comments and then make all the other, you know, uh, following videos based off of what you want to hear. Uh, I am planning on, uh, you know, shortly after doing a, another kind of uh, part two of this, which kind of takes you behind the scenes where I walk through um, the Slack group and then show you how I transfer the Slack group and migrate it over to Circle. 
So anyways, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful and until next time, I'll see you.